Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'll be showing you how can you make your own simple fan controller for your PC to be able to adjust three fan independently and as well a simple RGB LED circuit for giving your PC a bit of a nicer look. Now before we start this project is evolving the use of your PSU or power supply unit of your computer to power up this board. This being said it will not be my responsibility of damaging your PC or you getting a shock in the process of the making of this board. So it will be your responsibility to take proper safety precaution before you start making this board and as well how you will be installed. Now without out of the way we can start the building process. The circuit is very beginner friendly and easy to replicate if needed so I recommend you to give it a try. The circuit will be done in such a way to be easy installed on any PC with the help of an expansion slot cover bracket. Like that it will be easy to be installed on any PC. Now let's have a look at the circuit which is now in front of you. The circuit is built around the 555 timer IC. Now I have made the schematic a bit simple by just including one WM fan controller, but it can be easily replicated by adding more similar circuit on the board if you decide to make one. And as well the schematic along with the PCB can be found in the video description if you need it. For my particular case I will be using three circuit for being able to adjust three fan independently. The 55 timer PWM circuit has a video on its own, so I'll not be explaining in the detail how the circuit is working. If you want to check it out, a link to the video can be found as well in the video description. The second circuit from our fan controller, it will be a simple RGB color changing. The circuit is simple and its principle of operation is nearly identical as a LED chaser circuit, but this time the circuit has a soft delay before moving onto the next LED. So it is more or less as a stable multi-vibrator circuit by using 3 LED instead of only 2. Like that the circuit can be extended further if you need it. By changing the resistor R7 to R9 and as well the capacitor C3 to C5 the time period can be adjusted and in result the flashing can be faster or slower. For my particular use I will be using a longer delay like that the color it will be fading in and out slowly. Now with that out of the way we can start making the board for our PWM fan controller and RGB light. Let's start by grabbing all the required components for this build and as well we can start the building process. For this time I will be using a bigger prototyping board or so call it Vero board. The bigger Vero board it will be cut in half and the second half it will be used for a different project. First I will start by adding all the jumper wire to the NEA555 timer. Pin 2 go to 6 and pin 8 go to 4. And after all the IC socket has been soldered we can add the R2 resistor on the board and as well the rest of the component. Now the component will be added in such a way that the board can be easily installed in any case by putting the ports around the board for easy access and as well for a cleaner look. For making the connection I have used mostly solder wire and as well for making the impossible connection I have used components leads as jumpers. Like that the board will look nice. Now after the 3 PWM circuit has been done we can load each output with a fan. And as you can see all 3 circuits work great the fan are easily adjusted independently. Now let's connect a probe to the output of one PWM driver and as well we can observe with the oscilloscope that the output duty cycle can be adjusted from 0 to 100%. After all three circuits work we can start making the second part of the board. It is time for the RGB LED controller to be assembled. And after the RGB controller has been done we can test the RGB controller by connecting a simple RGB strip to it and as you can see the LED is working like it should. The effects are very great and as well the circuit can be further extended if you need it. Now after finishing the board it seems that it can be make it smaller but I will leave it as it is. Now for mounting the board on the PC I will be using a expansion slot cover bracket and after making the required holes on the expansion slot cover bracket the only thing remaining will be added the knobs for the potentiometers and the board is ready to be installed. Let's bring up the PC and open its side panel. After that it's just a matter of sliding the board in one of the available expansion port and after that let's secure the board with the help of a screw to keep it in place. Now this build even if it's inside the PC has to look nice. So for connecting the fan and as well the RGB LED strip I will be using some small connector and some DIY cable for easily connecting the board to the fan and so on. Now if you have already more than 3 fans on your PC this step can be omitted but if you don't it's the time to install some fans. So after all the fans are installed on the PC we can connect them to the board. And after that we can add the RGB LED strip onto the case and after the RGB strip has been installed we can connect it to the board by its own cable. Now the three fans I have in this PC can be easily controlled by the potentiometers which they are on the expansion slot cover bracket. 
and as well the only thing remain to be done it will be to add the side panel back onto the case and this project is done. After all this was a great project to make and as well I hope you have learned something interesting today but now I have to say goodbye. I will see you all in the next video until then have a nice day and thank you very much for watching. See ya.